see that. First possession of the game, Mark Butterfield throws the butterfly picked by Darren Hart. 37 yards, touchdown, 10-0 East Carolina. Second quarter, Butterfield throwing to a guy actually on his team, Brian Manning, 31 yards. That goes down to the eight. They would score. It's 10-7. But Matt Levine's punt, stuffed and recovered by Kiwani Ellis. Touchdown, 16-13 East Carolina. Then on the ensuing kickoff, that's Damon Dunn. He's got a wedge. And he goes right through it, 40 yards all the way to midfield. So now it's fourth and two for ECU on the Stanford 20. Butterfield incomplete. East Carolina holds on 19-13. The Pirates defense forced four Stanford. Down to the final moments. A minute 20 to go in Ray Goff's coaching career. Mike Groff, a grow that is, a pass to Walt Derry. He coughs it up. Jason Ferguson, look what I found. He goes into the end zone after the point. It's 27-27, all tied. On the kickoff, after a 15-yard penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct for too much celebrating, Demetrius Allen hits a seam. He hits the Jets. He goes 83 yards, tight rope. He stays in bounds, and Virginia runs it back and wins it 34-27. Goff finishes his seven-season run with a 46-34-1 record. Jim Donnan comes in from Marshall to take over the Bulldogs. And Arkansas, 10-7 Arkansas in the third quarter, but Mark Thomas pitches to Leon Johnson, who's going full speed as he takes the pitch. Nobody touches him as he goes in. Huge day. His number's coming up in just a second. Thomas gets hit late in the third, but not before he gets it off to LZ Stevens behind the DB. Does he have the angle? Does he have the speed? He has the stiff arm, and he goes 87 yards. They miss the extra point, but win it by 10. North Carolina barely qualifies for a bowl game with a six.